people might experience it when they poke their eyeball and then they go into this so-called dimension of stars. I have retinitis pigmentosa cone rod dystrophy where the central um, nerves in my eyes will deteriorate first, followed by the sights and eventually lead to total blindness. It was quite traumatic in a sense because uh, as a teacher myself, as an educator, my primary concern at that time was how is she going to learn, how is she going to access information, how is she going to um, be in a mainstream school environment. When I was diagnosed with uh, Stargardt's disease, I can see facial features and stuff like that, but I can't see words. When I discovered I had uh, low vision, I actually didn't feel that bad. Uh, but I was kind of happy because I got exempted from Chinese. The challenges that visually handicapped children face would primarily be misunderstanding, especially those with low vision because they do see, but they don't see very well. So a lot of uh, people may misunderstand these children and think that they are trying to be funny, they are being lazy. But if we don't give them the support, the required support, they may meet a lot of frustrations along the way, which is so unnecessary. The kind of support that home and parents can give um, basically is to instill in them the sense of independence and wanting to learn. And to do that, you have to teach them the necessary skills. I need things bigger. So with, with such things as, as the CCTV, which I use very often in my daily life, especially to do homework and reading, it makes everything so much easier. It magnifies the uh, words on the paper so I can see it. He's coping very well. He's a happy young boy. And, um, I th and that's something that we really hope that other children with the same sort of problem, whatever the visual impairment, will have the same experience as James. She's a happy child, she's very sociable and she loves learning. I play the violin. I really enjoy the sound of it. I would like to be a violinist. Music's a way to express myself and it helps me release all, all the stress that's in me and makes me feel happier and more connected to this world. The people that I've mixed with, and oh, they all have been very, very understanding. They've been very nice. So when I first introduced to them that I had vision impairment, they were a bit shocked. They were very, very curious, which is, which is something I quite like because I do enjoy explaining. And follow, after that, they treat me like any other regular person, which I find really nice. I hope that she can grow up to be like any other children, you know, uh, that she finds fulfilment in life and contribute back to society like everyone else does. <laughs>